Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Ray. I'm sorry I've been away for a while. I finally finished my semester. So now I can go back to my regular schedule of making videos for you guys. And yeah, to continue with our truffle theme, today I'm gonna show you how to make truffle carbonara. Let's cook! For this recipe, we're gonna start with the poached egg. Just crack the egg into a small bowl first, then place it gently into a pot of simmering water. I'm just using pure water here, no mixture with vinegar or anything. Because I think those are just myths. As long as you got a lot of water in the pot and it's simmering nicely like that, it should make it easier for you. After that, you just have to clean the pot and refill it with fresh water so you can use it for cooking the pasta. And while waiting for the water to boil again, you can start marinating your poached eggs with some truffle oil and truffle salt. Then when the water in the pot already started boiling again, we're gonna do the usual drill. Just add in some olive oil and a generous pinch of salt. Then I'm just gonna move it to a lower heat so I can use the higher heat to make the sauce. And here to make the sauce I have some pancetta. I'm gonna make two types of slices here. One is the thick one to be put in the sauce and one is the thin one as a garnish when the pasta is done. So now we're gonna start by frying off the thin ones to make it crispy. Here in a pan over medium heat. Don't put anything else, just put the bacon in straight away while the pan is still slightly cold. It will help render the fat from the bacon and make it super crispy. And in the meantime, we can proceed with cutting the rest of the ingredients for the sauce. So here with the rest of the pancetta here, I'm gonna, just gonna cut it into cubes. I probably need one more bigger slices there. It's really up to you how much pancetta you wanna use. It's not gonna affect the flavor of the sauce too much, except that you will have more bacon. So I don't think it's gonna matter if you wanna put more or less. And also for the sauce, we're gonna need some minced garlic and sliced onions. And when your pancetta is looking crispy like that, just set it aside until needed. And we can proceed with making the sauce without even cleaning the pan. Because that's the beauty of this dish, we're going to cook everything in bacon fat. And also if it starts smoking too much like this, you can just lower the heat to medium low. And when you started your sauce, that's a good time to start your pasta as well. Just drop the pasta in the pot around the same time as when you drop the second batch of pancetta. And as usual, I would say most people will use linguine or fettuccine for this pasta. But of course, you're gonna pick the pasta that you like the most. Just like what Chef John from foodwishes.com would probably say, you are the master of your pasta. Anyway, so for the sauce, when the pancetta is looking golden brown, you can dump in the onions and garlic and start sautéing them until soft. And don't forget to stir in the pasta as well. Make sure it's fully submerged in the water. And next, you're gonna add 300 ml of thickened cream. Give it a good stir. Season it with a generous pinch of salt and black pepper and also a sprinkle of nutmeg powder. And now it would be a good time to introduce the almighty truffle into the sauce. I'm using about 5 grams here but it's totally up to you if you want to add more. What I'm using is a good amount to make a mild flavor of truffle to go through the pasta and besides I'm gonna add more on top later anyway. So yeah, when the pasta is already al dente, or at least cooked to your liking, you can drop the pasta into the saucepan, turn off the heat, grate in some parmesan cheese. Here I'm using about 30 to 50 grams. Then just give it a good mix. And it's ready to serve. So what I like to do is just to grab a big bundle like so, and place it in the middle of the plate so it looks like a bird's nest. This is pretty much just to hold the poached egg in the middle. Or you can do two bundles if you're hungry. And don't forget to add the pancetta in and around the pasta. Then you can grate in some more parmesan cheese. Top it with the crispy thin pancetta. Gently place the poached egg in the middle. And last but not least, the star of the dish, some more grated truffle. And there you have it guys, my truffle carbonara with poached egg.
I hope you liked that simple video and if you did, please leave this video a like and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter to get the latest update of my videos. I have links to my previous videos so don't forget to check that out as well. And if you have any requests for anything that you want to see me cook, you can leave a comment below. And yeah, that will be all for today. See you next time guys. Bye!